And that is a real cultural difference that I think we need to understand between like Western standards of humor and he's more like a comedian for me, you know. Well, I think he just promotes himself like that. I mean, in the end, if he puts out stories about refugees or like, I mean, that's clearly no satire. He just labels it satire to make it legal. So in my opinion, that's a scam artist and um, a criminal. Like, he makes money of, you know, poisoning the society and... Um... Yeah, I agree with you, but I think like there is a, there's a, there's a line between what he's doing. He's talking about like, Hip hop stars and stuff like but that. That's how like he started, time, but I right. think, um, yeah. Yeah, right. I mean, but I think there's a line that you could cross. Tim, Tim, oh, 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 no. oh, no. Tim. Uh, but still, the thing is, Fabian is saying he's making money of it based on earning the money. I think that that is also an issue. Yeah, I think that it's just going to keep increasing. You get more and more of them in the West. And I don't think that we can just say, oh, they're just trying to make money. They're, they're trying to make jokes. They're trying to make humor. Uh, and I think there's a definite line between that. I don't, I don't, I don't think his site's just for fun. He does have a political message. He's pop industry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it is in a way that we allow free speech and satire to be far, part of that free speech. One of the problems with the internet, though, is stories like the ones that he produces are taken by other more, you know, legitimate, non-satire news sites. Become true just because there, there's a saying it takes a minute for a lie to travel around the world before the truth can get it. Max, 